Today we're going to be installing the Durablo Smart Fireplace Controller with remote and with thermostat. So this is the main controller itself. These wires will hook up uh, either to your fireplace or to your switch depending on how, how you want to hook it up. This is the thermostat so it'll be able to turn itself off and on depending on the temperature in the house. There's our power supply to plug it into power and then we have a remote so you can uh, do it the good old-fashioned way or you can hook it up to Alexa or Google Home or I believe even Siri and turn it off and on that way. Let's get started. Hush Alexa. So the first thing you'll want to do is come over to your fireplace and find the switch that controls it and usually on that same side of the wall you will have a wire coming out. In my case, it's this white wire. And those are the switches, I'm sorry, those are the wires coming from the switch. And you'll see they plug into these two wires that then go to the controller. So we'll take these two wires from our new smart uh, Duraplo fireplace, unplug these two and plug those in. So let's unplug these existing connections from our switch to our controller and plug in the Durablo stuff. So the part coming from the wall switch, let's do the controller first. The part coming from the controller plugs on these little tabs. And then coming from your wall switch, We'll plug into the other little tab. You do see that I had to trim the little plastic jacket coming from there, but not a big deal. All right, that's done. Now to just plug in our power supply to the outlet. Okay, now let's test the remote. So before testing the remote, be sure to unplug your thermostat. Otherwise it won't work because we don't have that set up yet. Grab your remote, push a button, you hear a click, and there's the pilot light going. Should kick on here in a second. There we go. All right, remote works. Let's turn it off. Cool. To set this up, I'm going to use the Smart Life app. We'll hit Add Device, and then it says to pick the Thermostat, BLE, Wi-Fi. Okay, it's under small home appliances. Thermostat, BLE, Wi-Fi. There it is. Thermostat, BLE, Wi-Fi. So a little tip here before we try and pair to get it on Wi-Fi. Hold down this Wi-Fi button for about five seconds and you'll see it blink and then you're ready to pair. Okay. Once I went to auto scan and I held down the Wi-Fi button on that for a few seconds, it showed up. We will select it, hit next. Enter our password for Wi-Fi. Hit done. Okay, now I think it's getting on my network. Okay. Okay, so one of the features is a uh, timer, so you won't ever forget about the fireplace. Once you turn it on, you can say, turn it off in two hours, and it will turn off in two hours. That's pretty cool. All right, let's slip, uh, switch it into Fahrenheit here. And now we can set it to, so 
I can shut it to if it gets below 66 in my house, kick on the fireplace for about two hours. And then once it heats up two degrees, it'll go off. If I want, I can go in here and set up a, a schedule. Um, what I want it to do each day. So now I have the thermostat plugged in. We can see it's 71 in my house, but I have it set for 66. So if we move this up to about 80, it comes on because it's only 71 in the house. And it just kicked on. So yeah, pretty cool. Alexa, turn on the living room fireplace. And there's our fire. So overall, I like this product. It seems well made. It was relatively easy to install. Uh, it synced up online pretty well. The remote works good. But there are two things I think could be improved upon. First one has to come to do with my wall switch up there. You see in the diagram here, none of these options has it functioning like a true three-way switch. You can see all the different combinations that you have to do in order to get the fireplace off or on. Um, honestly, I don't see the point of even, even hooking up the wall switch, so I'm not sure why they even make that an option. Uh, the second one has to do with the remote and the thermostat. So with the remote, you would think that uh, this will automatically override the thermostat. If you have your thermostat set to say, come on at the fireplace to come on at say, uh, when it drops below 72, well, if it was like 73 in the house and you were cold, you'd push this button and it would come on, but that's not the case. You have to go into the app and then reduce the thermostat. Then your remote will work. So I think they can improve those two things and we'd have a really strong product. Thanks for watching.